Can we get a show of hands in the comment section below that if the Lost History channel were to enable channel membership in an effort to save the channel from going bust, how many of you guys would actively engage in that programme here on YouTube? It's getting harder to hire Buzz with very little revenue and I have been inundated with messages of complaints regarding the way I sound. Buzz is still very much part of my plans going forward and these options do exist to possibly aid in my efforts to get him back in, so let me know below how you feel about that. Now on with the show. Yeah, it, it's a sea change. It's a really interesting moment in American history where our government and intelligence agencies are addressing what's right in front of us, which is the, the presence of UFOs on planet Earth. Every president has been talking about this. Jimmy Kimmel is great, by the way. He does ask the hard questions. And even President George W. Bush was shown the, the first piece of uh, imagery that I put out about a month ago, the, the pyramid-shaped UFOs. So now there's this openness to discussing, we, we might not know what they are, but we know what they're not. And when you're looking at this FLIR, <laughs> forward-looking infrared footage, you see it's a spherical object. There's no plumes, no exhaust, no traditional propulsion that you could see in the thermal realm. There has been another data drop this week under the Freedom of Information Act as filmmaker Jerry McCurbell again releases footage released to him by the United States government. Wait till you hear this. As the countdown to disclosure continues, the question in everyone's lips surely is, is this going to be the bombshell we have all been waiting decades for? Well, the leaks are continuing. Jerry McCurbell posted a 46 second clip on Twitter saying it was taken aboard the USS Omaha on July the 15th, 2019. Corbell, a UFO enthusiast and filmmaker behind the 2018 documentary Bob Lazar, Area 51 and Flying Saucers, and he said the footage showed a significant UFO event series. In the clip, a radar screen is shown with several objects moving around the ship, and at one point an unidentified man is heard, holy, they're moving fast, they're turning around. Thursday's data drop comes a few days before a government sanctioned report on unidentified aerial phenomena is expected to be sent to Congress, and some former federal officials have teased that the unclassified report will include unexplainable events, with one official quoted as saying that, We are going through our due diligence, is it some sort of new type of cruise missile technology that China has developed? Is it some sort of high altitude balloon that's conducting reconnaissance? Ultimately, when you have exhausted all of those what ifs, and if you're still left with the fact that this is in our airspace and it's real, that's when it becomes compelling, and that's when it becomes problematic. The UFO disclosure report sanctioned by the outgoing President Trump is due to be delivered to Congress in June and will be disclosed to the American public and therefore the world, with government officials including presidents telling us already that they do not know what the objects are. It makes you wonder if these are things not of this world. Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching. Oh, if you can write a general that long where we're at, and then the, the number of contacts you got, get the course and speed meters off them. You know what I mean? And roll to position to us. The bearings might be helpful too. Eyes up. Eyes down. Maintain track, maintain track as best you can. Track 781 just sped up to 46 knots, 50 knots, closing in. Oh, actually 38 knots, holy shit, going fast. That, that one's pretty much perfectly 000 relative, right? Yeah. 263, 3 miles, 55 knots.